Hi there, today's video is going to be very useful for your daily conversations in English. Today we are going to talk about how to use the sentence that's okay authentically as a native speaker of English. Without further ado, let's get started. 那么在日常英语对话当中呢，有很多句子看似很土、很简单，很多老师也说不要再这样说了，很没有意思。其实呢，他们在日常生活当中是大量被使用的，并且非常非常有用。像我之前分享的那一期视频，就是怎么样去地道的使用。I'm fine, thank you。大家可以知道，就是这句话的意思有很多很多不同的用法，在不同的情境下。那么在那个视频下面呢，有一个朋友就留言说：“凡凡，我有一个问题，就是当留学生问我路的时候。”当我给对方指出了这个方向，对方说“谢谢你”的时候，我可以说 “It's OK” 吗？那么这个问题呢问的特别特别好，就是曾几何时，不知道什么时候，作为我们中国学生就学了这么一个表达方式，就是当这个老外跟你说 “Thank you”， 我们会条件反射的说一句 “It's OK”。That's OK。其实呢，机械的翻译成汉语就是没事儿。那么也就是在我们汉语当中有一个说话习惯，就是别人说谢谢，我们就说没事儿。所以没事儿可以表达是一个没关系、不客气的意思。但是在在英文表达当中，如果对方跟你说 Thank you， 你如果说一个 That's OK， 就会显得非常非常不地道。给大家举一个非常真实的例子，来自外国人神秘人，他之前在台湾教过两年的英语，所以他在英语教学方面也是非常有经验的。有一次神秘人呢跟他的朋友台湾朋友一起玩，那么这个台湾朋友就说 Do you want a Coke？ 然后神秘人说 No, that's OK。结果这个时候对方还是把这个可乐端过来了，然后神秘人就。迷糊了，说嗯，我不是说不要了吗？结果对方说 ，But you said that's OK。你说的是 that's OK， 没事儿，可以，我就端过来了。所以呢，这个就是一个 that's OK， 一个地道的用法，但是被我们说汉语的人误解的这么一个经典的场景。那么在这个场景下，如果对方给你提供一个帮助、一些食物、一些吃的时候，如果老外说 No, that's OK， 其实呢 ，He or she is declining the offer。我再举个例子 ，Um, do you need a ride home？ No, that's OK。所以这个时候呢，如果对方说 That's OK， 其实就是在拒绝你的这个 offer， 你的这个帮助。那下面呢，我们来看这个例子。Blowing my nose and trying to get over this gift, and I moved over to the side a little bit, and and my friend looked at me and she said,、um, "I need to go to the restroom. Do you?" I said, "No, that's OK. You go on." 那么为了更好的体会这个 that's OK 在英语对话当中一些地道的使用，我们听一听神秘人下面的讲解。English is a kind of a tonal language, not technically the way Chinese is, but in English sometimes tone can change the whole meaning of a sentence, if not a word. So, for example, if someone bumps into you and says, "Oh, excuse me," you say. Oh, that's okay. Like, no problem. Let's say you just had lunch with your friend at a restaurant. You're still at the restaurant, and they say, "How'd you like to come over to my place and watch a movie?" You say, "That's okay. I think I'm gonna go home and take a nap." Or, "Ah,、oh, that's all right. I'm tired. I'm gonna go home." So, "That's okay. That's all right." Means you're declining. Now listen to the change in tone. If somebody says, "I just want you to know, the meal tonight is a special holiday meal, fifty dollars per person," and you go, "That's okay." That means you are fine with that choice. You're going to pay the fifty dollars per person. But if you say, "Oh, that's okay. We'll go someplace else," and you get up and leave. That's the saying no by saying that's okay. It can be a little confusing even for native speakers. 那么刚才神秘的讲解，不知道是否更好的帮助大家理解了这个 that's okay 在日常对话当中的地道使用。也就是说，这个句子非常非常需要取决于这个 intonation 这个语调。有些时候呢，这个语调这样说， no that's okay， 意思就是 I'm good thanks。我之前跟大家分享过，那么你也可以说 I'm fine thanks， 意思就是我可以不用了，谢谢，我在拒绝您的这个 offer。但有些时候，对方在去安慰另外一个人的时候，说啊，没关系，没事儿，这个时候是 that's okay， it's okay。这个时候呢，这个语调会跟这个 no、nah, that's okay 有一丢丢的不同。我们看下面几些例子。I am very very sorry. That's okay. It's not your fault. Look, I better go.、Uh, it's time to record this week's show. If you want to help our young people escape the trap of perfectionism, 
then we would teach them that in a chaotic world, life will often defeat us. But that's okay. 刚才在第一个例子当中，是我们特别熟悉的这个 Doctor Who。然后 Doctor Who 跟这个女孩说 ，I'm very sorry。然后这个女孩说 ，That's okay. It's not your fault. 所以根据这个情境，还有根据这个语调，我们知道这个女孩的意思是没事没事，又不是你的错。在第二个例子当中，这个 speaker 在给年轻人提了一些建议。他说，我们应该帮助年轻人 escape the trap of perfectionism， 去逃离这个完美主义的陷阱。然后他继续说 ，In a chaotic world, life will often defeat us, but that's okay. 在一个非常混乱混沌的世界，生活会经常打败我们，但是没有关系呀、啊。But that's okay. 所以，朋友们，你们学会了吗？